Hi everyone. For today's video I'm going to use the, um, the Baked with Love Lawn Fawn stamp set and the Fairy Friends Lawn Fawn stamp set and I just want to say I completely cased this from someone online. I just thought it was amazing and I decided to sort of use that and just show you how I my interpretation of it. Obviously our cards look completely different um, if I can remember to link where I found it, I literally just googled the stamp set to get some ideas and inspiration and I was completely floored by what she'd done. So um, I'm just, just want to put that out there. This is not my idea, but I love what she did. So I had to borrow the idea to show you guys my version of it. And um, like, like I'm doing here, I'm just stamping out some images. I used my um, stamp art, stamp perfect um hampton art that's the word <laughs> um like, like a stamping tool platform whatever you want to call it and um i just used that to to add some images to some cardstock um i believe this is nina 80 pound cardstock so that i could use my copex um now for the most part i try and show you the the colors of the, you know of the markers that i used but honestly don't get too hung up on that i just picked two that are out of the um, you know depending on what it is like the eggs or the the hair or the you know whatever it is that I'm coloring in and I just I find two colors blend well enough for me to get a bit of a shadow um, or a shading effect but don't get too hung up on the actual colors um, go with what works for you and you'll see <laughs> that my, <laughs> my flower turns out rather um, dark I'm gonna say it's a whole wheat flower <laughs> can I say that <laughs> um, that's uh, that's what I say it's not <laughs> don't get too hung up on the actual color go with what you feel is right and I obviously just could not get this right as far as like the the lightness of the flower <laughs> so it basically looks the same color as the eggs but anyway so um yeah <laughs> so I'm just going through I'm just coloring everything in I'm picking colors that I think work well together I had an idea of cardstock and color um that I wanted to use and this is just, it's such a neat idea. I love the creating sort of scene cards um, anyway. And I get a lot of inspiration from you guys on the internet, um, whether it's YouTube or whether it's Google or Pinterest or anything like that. I get tons of inspiration from you guys, so thank you. Um, but I also love watching Nicole Spall. She does amazing scenery cards. And, um, and also uh, Sandy Allnock will do like one layer cards um creating this incredible scene and they're just they're brilliant and they're complete inspirations so i just wanted to mention that there's tons of inspiration out there so if you're stuck for something um you've got the obvious things like google and pinterest and um youtube itself or there are specific artists and um creative people out there who just amaze me completely amaze me um and i think sometimes the best thing to do is to just play i always say that i i'm always banging on about playing with your art supplies and your you know coloring mediums and all that sort of thing and i do really think that that's what what you should do you should just play around with it play around with colors what i could have done on the bag here is i could have actually used one of the warm grays um which is the sort of brownie kind of gray color and then I could have used a just the blender, which is a clear um, Copic marker, and I could have just dragged that out, and that would have made it look more like a clear bag rather than um, what I tried to do there. <laughs> and also, I could have done it in a color, so I, you know, it could have been the icing color or the, you know, whatever icing. What else could you have? You know, like piping bags would have. You know, they'd be clear bags, but they'd have this lovely. You know pink icing or purple icing or white icing or whatever so um yeah and you'll see some of my shading just does not work <laughs> when you get to the flower um the yellow of the flower just really didn't work and it just looks like one color but it's so small i'm not going to worry about it too much um with these two colors they're quite far on the like the sort of like the opposite end if you like 
but you can still make it work and I think that's that's what I love about Copix is that you can still or alcohol markers you can still make them work like you can still get them to blend really well together so that they you get what you want out of it um, and I, I don't do it on this bit but I do actually color the band that looks you know like the extra little band thing around the bowl I do actually go back and color that in as well um, now <laughs> I think I'm doing the hair am I oh no the spoon gotta have a wooden spoon of course um, so again just doing the wooden spoon here two colors and just making them blend you see how they sort of one's very light one's very dark but if you keep blending it's pretty good red is a color that with Copix it always seems to be quite difficult to keep in the lines it seems to want to just go everywhere so just be aware of the reds um, I didn't uh, did I use I don't think I used any on this card today anyway but just be aware of red <laughs> it tends to want to do its own thing <laughs> so with the hair I don't I don't I'm not good with hair <laughs> is that the weird thing to say um, so you'll see here I just I use two sort of a light and a dark and then I'm just blending until it looks sort of okay um, I'm not the best at, like say with hair and hair color and not so much the hair color but like getting it to blend and look wispy like hair so that's something I need to practice um, yeah <laughs> you'll see this one looks really rather weird for a bit <laughs> um, but again I just blended until I had enough you know till it sort of looked okay ish um, and then the lighter one I just went back with a slightly darker color just to give it a bit more dimension and maybe look a bit light on the top of the head um, for the skin I just used one color I didn't bother trying to blend it there's such small areas that I didn't see the point in trying to do that but you can you can totally do that like I say skin and hair I'm not great with so I just kind of wing it um, and then here I just I love these colors together and look they one is very dark one's very light but when you blend it it just looks so good and it's even better in person um, my lighting's not great at the moment so apologies for that but this is how I like to blend I get two colors that are sort of somewhat quite distant from each other and then I sort of bring them together and it's the blend in the middle that makes them work so well so just keep practicing guys it's the same with water coloring if you've got water coloring and um, you know sort of start with the the most of your color on one side of your image and then drag it out with the water you'll get that same sort of blended shading kind of shaded kind of look um yeah i just think it works really oh my cat decided <laughs> <something> to say <laughs> this was so funny because i was mid-flow and then suddenly there was this little thing you just wanted to play and you'll see in a second well you might be able to sort of work out that she sort of flicks a pen right off the desk and eventually I had to stop <laughs> to, say, to get her off my desk because I could not work with her like that it was so funny though so I think you'll see it in a minute so this is just a, a cool gray one and then the blender and there goes the pen I don't know if you caught that but anyway um, just a cool gray one um, so here I'm just showing you how I've cut these images out on my scan and cut um, just to show you how good the, the cut can can be um, if your image is very um, the outline image is, is clear um, or very solid then it cuts out beautifully um, occasionally if there's an image that has maybe no outline then I need to actually sort of draw pencil lines to make it think that there's a line there um, so this is a standard sized A2 card and it is um, the gorgeous grape by Stampin' Up this is a little foxy pattern paper um, and the little foxy pattern paper is from god i want to say <laughs> three years ago maybe and um, i'm just using um, a couple of patterns just to one to look like the background like a wall in the background and then the stripy one is going to be kind of like acting like the table that they're going to be on and i didn't want any real color in the background because i just wanted i wanted them to sort of shine if you know what i mean um and so i just used a, an ink uh, blending what is that thing called that's actually a makeup brush that I've got off Amazon but it's similar to the um, life-changing brushes um, it's not it's not necessarily the same thing but it's it's very similar and um, all I did was I used the same gray which is in the pattern paper I used 
smoky slate which is a stampin up ink as well um and just to ink the edges and give it a bit of pizzazz <laughs> um i'm really into that at the moment as well and then i used my corner chomper which is a we are memory keepers um chomper and i've had that thing for about 12 years maybe i love that thing i always forget i've got it but i love that thing um and i just thought it was a little bit of a different look um as opposed to sort of square corners we have some rounded corners um and there was a bit of card that i was going to stick on there and i decided against it so um it was just like a leftover piece of the gorgeous grape um picking the colors for this because obviously the gorgeous grape isn't the same as the you know any of the copic markers colors i just kind of color match as best i can um so i'll put the card or the the images next to my card stock and i'll go oh that actually works really well that's how i do it i don't do anything you know i don't overthink things <laughs> i mean i overthink things but not not these kind of things and then for the flower i wanted it i didn't want the, the sort of the stem so i cut that off and where on the image you can see the stem coming down i actually used a white sakura pen just to color that where the stamp part was um where, where the the stalk of the or the um stem of the flower comes down um i just stamped it uh, sorry colored it with a white you can see it's gone now um a white pen so that it just covered up the inked bit um and then i just i stamped my sentiment i've kind of like with the one on the left with the piping bag i I had to cut her arm I'm sorry <laughs> to get her <laughs> to get her to look like she's holding onto the bag and then I sort of stuck a few of them together so that I could sort of place them a little easier um, with the flower in the bowl that's already in there I actually trimmed the bottom of it so it looked like it was sitting inside the bowl um, so I just sort of trimmed the white edge off um, and that made it work a little easier and then here I'm just placing them working out where I want them all um, it's a very similar like I say that I cased it from someone and it just it's so cute but like I say it doesn't look the same as her card her card is is lovely and it, it just doesn't even look like her card just the placement of the images looks the, you know similar um, and also I didn't place this very well because it looks a bit like it's too much off to the right and you'll see here once I put the eggs in um, they look like they could the whole thing could have shifted over a little bit but it's fine it's you know it's handmade so <laughs> we're gonna go with that <laughs> um, so just trying to get all my little eggs in so they look like they're all just like flopping about <laughs> like they do like eggs do um, and then I think the last thing I decided to do was to bring out some, um, I think this is called Wisteria something or other, Wisteria, uh, I want to say Wisteria purple, no, I don't know. Um, oh, before I do that, I'm just taking this, I think this is a C1 again, um, grey marker, just to sort of create a bit of a shadowy look underneath the images. Um, it kind of grounds them a bit. Um, and then of course being fairies everything needs sparkle when you've got fairies so I used a Niveau um, oh, what is that pen called? I always lose track of what that pen's called clear glitter clear <laughs> it's a clear glitter pen <laughs> crafters companion have some wing Costella, same sort of idea um, and yeah because it's got a sparkle and then I decided to put these, I think it's Wisteria something. It's a Nouveau um, crystal glaze. Crist no, not glaze. Crystal drops. Um, and this is the pearly one. And what I did was I just put them on and then I whacked them against the, <laughs> the uh, stamp, the ink pad. And it just kind of flattens them a bit so they look more like enamel dots. Um, but the one at the bottom, as you saw, went a little bit wrong so I had to kind of fix it. But basically there's my card so i hope you've enjoyed this guys i know it's a bit long-winded this one um but don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see for more from me and i will see you in the next one guys bye